Hey there guys, it's Zach here from InBeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 10588. This build includes a number of features and enhancements over the last public preview build which was 10547. Uh, as of recording this, this is also an unofficial build. This leaked earlier today via the internet so if you want to try it out you're going to have to do some searching. So jumping straight in, the first noteworthy changes are with the apps included. As you can see in the um, all apps list here there is a new messaging app. Interestingly, there's also a phone app, which doesn't actually work, and a Skype video app. So these three apps, well, three, I don't think the phone app's going to be staying. As you see when you open it, it, it actually opens. Wow. So it opens, but you can't actually call anybody with it, as I don't actually have a, you know, a phone in this device. This is a laptop, so why would I be able to call anybody in it? But yes, there are new apps, and these apps are pretty cool. As you can see down here, the new messaging app works via Skype, and I believe it should eventually work via messaging as well. So I'm going to answer this here. So Zach, I'm watching you. Well, that's pretty creepy. That's creepy. Then I can send it off with the uh, the arrow here, and that should go away like that. So let's actually open the app up and uh, take a look at it. Here is the messaging app. Looks just like the app on Windows phone you can send right now pressing enter doesn't actually send the message I imagine that's a bug so you can actually send just by pressing the arrow here and you've also got some nice emojis so what about that one yawn oh again no enter doesn't work that's that one and the cool guy <laughs> so yes, as you can see, this is all pretty great. Uh, you can add more contacts here. So if I had anybody else on Skype, I could do just add multiple conversations and they appear up on the left hand side here. You can also select conversations to delete them. So if I want to ignore Ron here, I can just delete his messages and go on my merry way. Same for Skype video. This allows you to pretty much do Skype calls. Uh, let's press continue. And as you can see, let's do this later. Let's do this later. And there's no one here. Oh, there's me. Hi. Oh, that's great. I am not looking pretty good today, so let's cover that up. So yes, on the black area here, that's where your actual webcam comes up, which is quite annoying. But yes, that's there, and that works pretty great. So the versions of these apps of 1.9.26001. Same for the messaging app, which is here. Uh, let's see the about version. 26, yes. So the same versions for each, which is to be expected. What else is new in Edge? You can see up here, if we go to a new tab, let's go to the one and only winbaser.org. You will see when hovering over a tab page, you get a nice preview. Microsoft said this was coming and now it's here, which is fantastic. Uh, let's see up here, this icon has changed slightly, which is very interesting. And if we go into, that's kind of new as well, cast media to device, I'm sure it is. Maybe that was in the last preview build, not entirely sure. Anything new down here? It doesn't seem to be. Uh, Microsoft Edge version 2.2.10558. Here's a number of change, uh, things here. All these options, I don't think these are new either. But yes, that's Microsoft, not Microsoft Word, Microsoft Edge in a nutshell. And last but not least, the biggest change and the most important change in this build, the regedit icon has been updated. Yes, I kid you not, and Edge won't close. How hilarious. There you go. Down here, look, it's now awesome and a lot better than it was in the previous build because that was uh, the icon they were using in the last build was from the 90s i'm pretty sure or at least windows xp but yes that appears to be uh it let's take a look in the settings app actually just because that's what we always do let's see colors anything new in colors no no no, nothing else is new here. So there you have it, guys. A quick look at Windows 10 build 10,588. That's actually open Winver. And go to the that bit so you can see the build number and more detail. Thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.